At an early age, I got introduced to alcohol. You know, I started drinking. I took my first drink about 11, and then it was cigarettes. It's just mainly just going back to the alcohol, man, just really was, was really the beginning of a long life of in and out of prisons and jails, trouble, uh, broken relationships. And that's pretty much it, man. I went on the internet. <laughs> I tried to Google like a, a, a substance abuse uh, three quarter house or uh, something to go to. There was a couple of places that popped up, but this, this really spoke to me, man. I had spoken with, with Miss Cat. And basically, she prayed, and it was just a God just showing up and just making a way for me to get here. Oh, it's just a great place, man. It's just it's a positive environment. They 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 tell you and they teach you, you know, the word of God, man. That's the only way to to, to live true happiness and have that peace. We we know where it comes from, you know, trying to keep our focus and our mind off of the other things, man, and keep your mind focused on what really matters, man, and that's God. Man, just being here, staying here, learning the teachings, um, just being positive, man, really. There's a lot of knowledge from from the pastor to all the people that, that are here in the ministry, being alive and sober, man. Just being able to walk positive and keep a clear mind with no worries, man. I don't worry about nothing. Now, I just want to just think strong tower, man. If No, man, uh, just stay positive and stay focused, man. Just really dig deep and find yourself, man. That's all, man. Don't, don't worry about all that stuff that you came in here with because it's gone. Just keep your mind centered and focused on God, man, and everything else will work out.